Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie and I'm an empath and intuitive card reader. And today I am doing a general reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of July 2016. Um, first, uh, before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for all your views and stopping by and checking us out here. And any likes or shares that you may have put forward, thank you for that as well. It's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to do so. You'll be alerted every time that Bay of Funny Fortunes posts any new videos. And if you find you like this reading and you want to continue on with it and make it a personal reading, because this is a general reading, which may resonate with you and it may not resonate with you at all. So if you wanted a private reading, if you go down into the description box below this video window, you will see the address to my website and my email address as well. When you go into the website, you will see a picture of Crow Island, which is just outside my backyard. Beneath that picture is a small paragraph, and it sums everything up the way the private readings work for the Bay of Funday. So, this is an interesting reading. I've already spread the cards out. And, okay, so, the very first card that I pulled for you, Scorpio was the Page of Swords, and this card represents gossip. This card states to be clear in your communication so misunderstandings can occur. The key, word, the key words for this are complaints, bitchiness, backstabbing, cutting, cutting words, politicking, legal issues, and paperwork. The advice of this card is to be clear and precise in verbal, written communication so you won't be misunderstood. And Spirit is nudging me to say these are legal papers, such as divorce, um, splitting the proceeds of property and home. That's why you have to be very, very, very clear with your communication so that you're not misunderstood. I, the cards can't emphasize that enough. I also feel for you, Scorpio, that you've been through a breakup recently. And the Five Pentacles is your second card. And this can be your card of uh, work and finances. Keywords are isolation, money problems, rejection, bias, fear, risk in relationships. The advice of this card is, you do have support, but maybe looking in the wrong places or the wrong people. Go beyond your usual network. You will find the help and support that you need. The three card is not always all about loss. Oh, the five cards, sorry. This is a sad card, but it's not always about loss. The five reveals a fear of poverty and isolation rather than the reality you fear losing your job or relationship. Also feelings of being alone after the end of a relationship. Financial change that breakup brings. Again, we're back to um, dividing up property um, and you're feeling lost because you've never had to do anything like this before, Scorpio. So you need to go and you need to get some advice from very solid people. Not your regular people. Look outside your regular group somebody that has no personal opinion either way um, on the breakup you're going through but they will be there to support you so that you're not living with the fear of poverty and the, and, and the fear of isolation um, and to stop you from focusing on that because that's not the reality these are just fears It'll take some time to get through this, but you will get through it. Just be very clear on your communications on what it is you want to walk away from. Now, in your love and relationship sector, we got the wish card. And this is highly unusual because I draw a significator card from my deck of tarot for the overall energy of the reading, the significator, you got them both. I've never seen that happen before. 
you have two wish cards. 78 cards in each deck. And I pull five from the Oceanic deck, deck and the and Carol. And you got both wish cards. For all the doom and gloom in the first two cards, you got two wish cards. And this is your significator. This is the overall energy right here. Okay, there's the first one was the general energy. Now this is the overall energy. And the wish card can benefit from love, friendship, support on projects. It can denote harmony at home. All aspects of your life will be filled with contentment. Do not become smug, such as in if you've been through a breakthrough and you're landing on your feet. Um, when it comes to your ex, you may be feeling quite smug that you've done so. You can share your enthusiasm and your good fortune. Um, lots of socializing ahead. The advice is perfectly placed to have dreams come true. The keywords are happiness, love, support, harmony at home, and abundance. That's quite a stark contrast from the first two cards, where they were doom and gloom and... Um, Divisions of property, broken heart, isolation, fear of poverty. That all seems to disappear into the wind. But your challenges for the month of July are the Three of Swords. And it is about heartbreak. The key words are heartbreak, sorrow, betrayal, loss, affairs of the heart, breakup, and tears. The advice is to feel the pain, see the truth for the matter. This has happened for a reason. Three is the heartbreak card of the tarot, and it brings a transient change that you will process and heal from. The positive of the three card is you know exactly where you stand, and you see the truth. Three can also signify stress symptoms such as anxiety and fear. These are your challenges. So you may be going through this battle and you have got your wish card that you're going to land on your feet. It doesn't it doesn't all happen without feelings of regret that you're in the situation to begin with. Your anxiety and fears it's the fear of fear and the fear of anxiety, the fear of isolation that you're feeling. You will um, have some regrets. You go back over in the last three cards and wish that this hadn't happened and wish that you weren't going through this and you wish that you were still with that person and everything was happy because you felt that you were happy in this relationship. You felt that everything was fine and wonderful and it came as quite a shock and it threw you off your feet and it left you scrambling for your senses, um, trying to make sense of everything, trying to keep your pride about you without losing control completely. And this is where you go to other people, people outside your own immediate circle, for guidance and advice. And they are an impartial uh, party to what you've been going through. So there's no judgment of you on their part or the other person at all. You're going for help just so that you don't, because you have this fear of poverty and isolation and losing everything that matters to you in the world. And these, this person or people are going to help you with that. And you will have success towards the end. So your challenges are to, to fight these feelings of um, pain. To fight the feelings of sorrow, betrayal, loss. The breakup and the tears. So you'd be kind of like a yo-yo for a little while. One day you'd be fine, next day you won't be. You'll be full of remorse. Your last card which is the Eight of Wands and represents travel. And this is a message from Spirit for you. The keywords are communication, speed, news, motivation, action, excitement, and movement. The advice is to breathe before saying yes to all offers. Choose very carefully. This will save time and money. So the keywords really pop out on this one from Spirit. Your communications are important. Everything is happening very quickly. There is speed involved, so it's happening very, very quickly. You're going to receive some news that's going to give you motivation, which will spur you into action, which will create feelings of excitement and movement. Not stagnant, not isolated, not alone. 
not full of sorrow, but excitement about the future. Just be very careful before you say yes to any offers, especially when it pertains to the other cards. You find yourself in a legal situation or, you know, sometimes people can do property settlement without without bringing lawyers um, into the mix. So if that's the case, because you have nobody to represent you and you're representing yourself against this other person who's representing themselves, be very careful what you say yes to. Make sure it is what you want. The next card was the overall significator, Nine of Cups. Again, this is just unusual. This is so unusual. You're almost, you remind me of somebody that's almost um, kind of, um, I don't want to use the word bipolar, but it's almost like that because you are in the depths of despair at the beginning of this reading. You've been through something or you're about to go through something. I think you've already been there and you're in the heart of this right now. So you're at the depths of despair and you're full of sorrow and there's a lot of darkness and a lot of heartbreak, deep, deep pain something you didn't see coming and then you move away from that and start to focus on practical matters such as the division of property and things that you shared in your life together and then the nine of cups shows up which is the first wish card um, and everything starts to pick up and get a little bit better for you but your challenges the second to last card is you, you backslide a little bit, you fall back, you go, go back into the memories, and you go back into the regret, and back into the remorse, and this is where these people can help you out. Your family and friends are going to be there for you as well, don't forget about them. But in the end, you have great communication, everything happening fast, good news, motivation, action, excitement, and movement. And just to reiterate the Nine of Cups from the Book of Tarot, this is called the Wish Card. And what you have an appetite for, you will be given. This is wonderful. This is the overall influence. Your wish will come true. On an emotional level, it indicates that relationships are loving and complete. Creativity is high. Friendships and emotions are good. So I would say, Scorpio, by the end of July, you got a rocky start to the month. There's no doubt about that at all. It's already begun. And compassion is coming forward for you from spirit. Spirit is feeling a huge heart for you and what you've gone through. Because you didn't deserve this at all. You didn't see it coming, but you didn't deserve it either. If it hadn't been such a blindsided situation when it happened, um, if you'd had some indication, any hints at all, that this was coming, you could have handled it better. But you literally went from being a very content, happy, well-adjusted person one day to your whole world falling apart the next day. And Spirit feels huge compassion for you on that. The Spirit wants you to believe and hold on to the fact that once you get through the property divisions, once the, the clean break has been made and it's completely over and done with, everything's going to pick up really fast for you. You're going to have another relationship. These things happen for a reason and Spirit says so. This happened for a reason. Sometimes people are only in our life for a short time. A season, as they say. And then they move on. Or we move on. And sometimes we just move apart because that's all that was meant to be. There were lessons learned within that relationship, life lessons. And now you're moving on, you're picking yourself up, and you're going to do it in the right order. The, the, the division of property and all that, you're going to have to work your way back up a little bit. But you're going to get everything back, metaphorically speaking. You're going to reestablish yourself, I guess is what I'm saying. And once that happens... There's a new relationship out there waiting for you. You'll find contentment again. You just have to get through this hurdle. And it won't last forever. I promise you it will not last forever. So keep your head up. Keep your chin up. Despite the sorrow and the depths of despair that you're in right now. And I know you're so far down you have to reach up to touch bottom. 
Um, don't lose hope. Because you are going to get better, because the cards show that. And everything's going to be wonderful. Matter of fact, given enough time after the month of July, come the fall of the year, I would say Spirit is saying that you're going to be way better off than you were where you are right now in this previous relationship. So, Scorpio, that's your reading for the month of July 2016. I hope you enjoy this reading. And as I said, if you'd like a private reading, we can certainly do that. I get them off within 24 hours. Um, you have your very own video. I'll be a reading to view and review as often as you'd like. For now, I'd like to wish you a wonderful July, as, as much as can be expected. Just hold on and look, look to the future. You're going to get through this. This is devastating for you. And you didn't deserve it. This was uncalled for. You did nothing wrong. Spirit says you did nothing wrong. Just hold on. Hold on tight. Because things are going to start happening that you have no idea that's coming at you. And there's nothing bad. It's all going to be good. So I wish you the best month in July, Scorpio. And for now, I'll say goodbye. And thank you for stopping in. Thank you very much. Goodbye.